Hi friends, once wandering the vastness of the internet, quite accidentally, I stumbled upon an interesting musical toy. Link, just in case, left in the description. A close inspection of the photographs made it clear that the circuit must be very simple, although the circuit itself wasn't published. It's clear that here is an ordinary sound generator. For these tasks timer, NE555 can be used excellent. It will be connected according to the circuit of the square wave generator. Here is the standard circuit, but not everything is so simple. It's important to select the components of the frequency, adjusting circuit of the generator so that the output signal is kept in the audio range with sudden changes of the resistance of one of the resistors. And that's what I got after the selection. You just need to assemble a copy. Resistor R4 is not installed on the board. In roll of that resistor can be water, our body, or any other matter possessing some resistance. For example, the trace from the pencil in fact is resistive coating on the paper. And the resistance of this coating depends primarily on the length of the drawn line. Changing the length leads to a change in the tonality of the sound. We got a kind of musical instrument, something remotely reminding of the Thermanvox. Next, it was necessary to amplify the output of the chip. It's easy, the low power 2 N5551 will be quite sufficient. The dynamic head at first was taken from a faulty smartphone board, but the volume wasn't enough, and later I replaced it with an ordinary boozer, they sound more loudly. Here I must note one point, these kind of boozers are of two types, with a built-in generator and without. In our case, we need a boozer without a generator. If you have low power speakers of the toys, put it, the sound will be much louder. We made the board and installed all the components and now we need to think about the box. At first I wanted to stuff everything in a syringe, but I was too lazy to run into the pharmacy. I just packed everything in a heap and wrapped up. In general, the main goal is that it works. You can make it much more beautiful. I soldered copper foil to one of these points, no matter to which one. The foil become in contact with the thumb when we hold a toy in the hand. The second point is connected, for example, to a pencil lead. Thus, by sweeping finger on the drone section, we close the circuit and the generator makes a sound, the frequency of which depends on the resistance of the section or substance. The printed circuit board for such a simple circuit does not make sense, but if your projects need printed plates, we recommend the GLC PCB side. This is one of the largest PCB manufacturing plants. It's easy. Download your Gerber file, select the options you need, pay for the order and wait for the parcels. The factory will produce printed circuit boards of any shape and complexity. Free shipping is available at the first order, and the price starts from $2 for 10 pieces. A link to purchase of GLCPCB will be found in the description. This miracle is powered by the 18650 lithium-ion battery. The fact is that many NE555 chips don't work from such low voltage, but all my samples are perfectly working from one lithium-ion battery. If you will have any problems, raise the power to 4.5 to 6 volts. The battery is installed in the holder and everything is plugged on it. You can charge the battery from any USB port. For the charge response popular module on the basis of TP4056, the maximum charge current is 1 ampere and an indication is available. Here is the full circuit of the device. I think further processes don't need any comments.
Your children will have fun of such teaching toy. For them, this will be the first step in the amazing world of electronics, and will eventually cause interest in the process. And possibly, electronics will replace the gaming. Well, you understand. Friends, the archive of the project, which includes the PCB and the circuit, can be downloaded through the link in the description. Also, in the description you will find links to the components for the assembly and to the ready toys. If the video was useful, don't forget to evaluate it and share it with your friends in social webs. Now I have to say goodbye. With you was Kaysian TV. Until new meetings.